In this video, I want to show you how you can use a flow meter to protect your swimming pool equipment. Now, specifically what I'm worried about is your filter. Not every filter, but a lot of filters, and specifically sand filters, have a very low maximum designed flow rate. And basically what that means is they can only handle so much flow before potentially there could be a problem with it. Now this filter you're looking at here happens to be able to handle 120 gallons per minute of flow. Even though the filter itself is fairly small, it's only 150 square feet and a single element. Because it's a cartridge filter and it doesn't have a multi-port valve on top of it, it's able to handle more flow than what a sand filter would. Now this represents what you might see on a you know small to medium size swimming pool. And if you were to have a sand filter, that you used for a small or medium sized swimming pool, what you would notice is that the maximum design flow rate for that small to medium sized sand filter is probably 40, 50, or 60 gallons per minute at most. And you know what? That's not very much at all. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So let's pretend that this filter here has a maximum design flow rate of 50 gallons per minute. And let's take a look at the plumbing system and I'm going to show you some important things here. So right now you can see the system is pretty complicated, but you're going to go ahead and ignore all of this extra stuff. And for this test, we're going to be using a single inch and a half suction line. And then actually it's going to be this one here, a single inch and a half return line. And we're going to use this flow meter here in order to determine what our maximum speed should be on this 1.5 horsepower variable speed pump. Because a lot of people will upgrade their swimming pool pump and everybody likes to get the biggest one possible for some reason. And so you'll get something like this, one and a half horsepower, but a pretty small filter. Again, we're talking 50, 55 gallons per minute. That's how much this filter is supposed to be able to take in this example. So what would happen if we just go ahead and turn this pump on maximum speed? How much flow do you think we're going to get? Do you think we're going to get more than 50 to 55 gallons per minute of flow? Remember, we only have a single inch and a half suction line and then a single inch and a half pressure side line that we're going to be using here. Well, let's go ahead and crank this thing up and take a look at that flow meter. 3,450 RPM and watch that flow. So what we saw there was well in excess of 50 to 55 gallons per minute. And if I had a sand filter like a lot of you have, I would have definitely been pushing too much water through that. Let's go ahead and try that again, but this time let's use a lower number, 2000. That's a lot lower, but let's take a look at that flow rate. That's pretty good, just a shade under 40. I want to determine the maximum, so let's go ahead and bump that up a little bit more. Let's go with 22.50 or so. Let's see what that gets us. Alright, getting there. It's about 45 or so. Twenty five hundred RPM. And now we're right about fifty. Just just a shade over fifty gallons per minute. And we're only at twenty five hundred RPM. There's a lot more room to go up here. And that's one of the things that you need to be concerned about if you go and replace your swimming pool pump. You always need to double check the maximum design flow rate for your filter because you need to be aware that it's actually pretty easy to exceed the maximum design flow rate with some filters. And the way that you go about determining that 
is by buying and installing a flow meter on your system so that you can monitor how much water is moving through the system at any given time. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.